All right, welcome back to my shop. Working on my 1980 Volkswagen Rabbit today. Uh, alternator's only charging 12.2 volts, so not good. Battery was dead this morning. I have an alternator that's in the back seat of the car that came with the car. Don't know if it works or anything like that. It doesn't have a pulley on it, so I'm gonna have to take the pulley off of this one, put it on that one. Hopefully it pulls off easy. Anyway, I'm gonna give it a go, so stay tuned. 13 millimeter wrenches what I'm using I don't know I assume these cars are metric but I don't know that's what it seems like I'm watching videos and whatnot standard size didn't fit very good anyway I was moving the top alternator bolt and snap, broke off the nut. It twisted quite a few threads before it broke. I don't know what went on. It looks like there's red Loctite on it. So I don't know. Anyway, not a big deal. I dug in my bolt bin and I already found one. So no problem. All right, the alternator that was in the back seat has a different plug on it. Mine has three plugs, prongs on the plug, and the one in the back seat has one. Like I said, I'm not a German car guy, I'm a Chevy guy, so I don't know. I tried to get a new alternator, and they don't have one in the town I live in. They ordered me one, it'll be here next week. It was $60, and I have to give them the old one back. I'm gonna put the not so good alternator back on, just to use in the meantime. This is the bolt I broke, this top one. Alright, I got the alternator all installed. Now I'm going to start her up and make sure there's nothing going on. This alternator is charging 12.23 volts, so by my experience, at least in the North American world, that's not enough. So. Hopefully Tuesday my alternator shows up and all is well. I don't know, this thing kind of runs a little rough too, unless that's how they are, but I don't know if the injection pump timing is a bit off or what, I don't have the tools. To, uh, to do that, but uh, I'm interested in purchasing them, so that'll be something I'm going to have to look into. Try to time this thing. I noticed, well I didn't really notice, but I'm wondering if it doesn't have a bad injector or something too. Uh, when you fire it up, it smokes for about 30 seconds to a minute, and then it seems to clear itself up and it's good. But uh, I'm not sure. Anyway, lots to learn, lots to learn. And I don't know why, but somebody installed a primer ball on there. I don't know whether to leave it or get rid of it. I'll probably get rid of it because I don't see why they need it. The car starts fine without it. It seems unnecessary to me. Anyway. You guys a quick little walk around here. inside of the rabbit one of the problems the rust there I'm gonna have to try to do something with that exhaust as you can see a little bit of smoke 